Namaste. You know what I think is pretty much a ridiculous thing? And I've, I've, I've spoken about it before. It's leaders of nations commenting on wars. Okay? Y'all want to... The, the, number one, we don't have a strong leader in America. Okay? We got a geriatric fucking... Probably has to take his pills with gelatin just to make sure it gets down. Fucking diaper wearing motherfucker in office. Okay? And then he wants to fucking get on Israel for the innocent aid workers that were killed over there because of Israeli bombing. War don't care, motherfuckers. It's war. It isn't a, a board game. It isn't risk. It isn't something that you can control to the max. Would we like to have a war where innocent people aren't killed? You betcha. But that ain't how it fucking happens, especially when the enemy enemies hide within the populace. And since Palestine couldn't take care of Hamas on their own, Hamas had to come over, behead babies, set some on fire, rape, pillage, burn, you know? And uh, so Israel has responded. And they're going to keep fucking responding. People, it's fucking war. Do you think our World War II veterans would have been known as the greatest people on earth if we knew everything that went on overseas in those wars? I have always said it, and especially since Vietnam. If we ever go to war, and I'm talking about soldiers themselves, no phones, no cameras, nothing, no media, you find somebody fucking filming shit, pow, gone. We go in, we kick ass, and there's no fucking bitching about it later. We would have won Vietnam. We would have won Korea. But no, it was more of a fucking political bullshit game than anything. In fact, we shouldn't even fucking went to either place. But however, we did. We lost a lot of good men. Not just those who were killed there, but those who had to live with the memory afterwards. So, you know what? To all these free Palestine. You know, Palestine and Israel, y'all should have banded together. That's how you get rid of the cancer that is causing all this strife. And quit fighting over land. Be happy with what the fuck you got. Who gives a shit? And to all the religious zealots out there who, who sit there and go, But in the Bible... It says Israel is not to be missed. Well, you know what? Look, what the fuck ever. God doesn't care about p places and, and, and how uh, important or whatever. That's just, just fucking horse shit. It's about us coming together. You know how we come together? Israel, Palestine, sit down, come up with a plan and start taking, weeding that shit out. Then you can take down the fucking Gaza border shit and you can start living cohesively. You ain't got to talk about religion. Just fucking live your lives. And for the innocent people out there who are killed or maimed during war, sorry it happened. For those who starve and are starving to death, it fucking sucks. It'll happen here someday, I'm sure. But I would much rather... My government take out the enemy regardless whether I'm just out mowing the yard one day and I take a missile to the head. It's war. God, war is not fair. It is... <laughs> it is not... It's kind of like karma. Karma. It doesn't apologize. It just comes in, kicks ass, cleans up, and leaves. God bless you.